Are you looking for the best Bluetooth FM transmitter for 2019? Maybe you're thinking about a Christmas gift? I've got this one right here that the company sent to me because they wanted me to test it out after watching some of my other Bluetooth FM transmitter videos. And uh, I decided to, to check it out and see what, what the, I think of it. Uh, first of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, have, and get to unbox that company sent to me. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. Also want to test this thing out. That's why I'm in the car today and uh, we want to see how well this thing works. It says it is the Perbeat Bluetooth hands-free car kit. I'll link it up down in the description below if you guys want to go read other people's reviews and kind of get a better idea of what we got going on here. This is with a rotary knob, FM transmitter, and dual USB. Um, one finger to operate, keep your eyes on the road, uh, Bluetooth chip, uh, 2.4 amps for charging, it can read a USB stick, metallic finish, voltage detection, uh, rotary knob, and push to hang up and answer uh, phone calls. Cool. All right, let's, let's check this thing out. We're going to pop that open. Do you guys use a Bluetooth FM transmitter? How do y'all listen to music in your car? Do you still listen to the radio? Or do you listen to your phone? Or do you have a Bluetooth thing? Or do you have an auxiliary port? Or do you have something totally different? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to know what you guys are rocking with right now. All right, that's the transmitter right there. What else is in here? It's like some instruction manuals there and then some kind of, I don't know, offer or something there. I'm not too sure what that is, but this right here is what we want. Thing small. So it's about the size of my index finger as far as length, and it's a little bit bigger than my thumb as far as how wide it is. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We got okay, so I'm assuming the top USB port is where you plug in the USB stick because it's got the little music note there, and then down here we got the little lightning bolt for the charging there. Um, this whole top part rotates, and then that presses down. Yeah, the whole button. It's one big button that presses down. I'm assuming that's to answer and hang up calls. Um, then you just have your regular plugger in her for your power outlet in your car or a cigarette lighter. Kind of depends on what kind of car you have. Um, so let's, uh, let's see. Let me turn on the car and let's plug this thing in and see what we got going on here. This thing looks pretty nice, I gotta say. Got my phone here too. We'll, uh, we'll Bluetooth some music through there and see what it sounds like. All right. Plug that thing in there. 13.9 volts coming from the battery. Bluetooth. Okay, so we need to set it. Let me turn. Okay, Bluetooth is on. Let me go into settings here. And then C54. I'm assuming that's it because it's an other device. I don't know about that yet. We're not going to do that. Okay, it sounds like we're connected. Let me turn on the radio. 1077. 1077. Let's see how this thing works. Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna crank it up. <laughs> it's really loud. Okay, so sounds good to me. I'm not hearing any static. Uh, granted, though, whenever you're dealing with Bluetooth FM transmitters, uh, static is based on the radio station and how many frequencies of radio stations there are in your area. So if there's a whole bunch of, uh, of radio stations, you need to find kind of a dead station uh, that you can tap into so it can transmit directly from here to your car, uh, car's antenna. Uh, so this is, it sounds great. Um, what I wanted to play with, I want to play with this little rotary knob though. What's that all about? See, I can turn it down. It started the song over. By the way, I'm playing from Google Music, so this is working through like streaming services and whatnot. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, I bet turning it. This is, uh, it's, it's not in a playlist or anything, it's just one song that I picked, but I bet if it was in a playlist or an album, this would change it to the next song. That makes sense. Um, now I did have to, uh, I was looking into how to figure out how to turn the, uh, change the radio stations, and I had to look this up before I bought it, and you have to hold down the button, then it starts flashing, 
then you turn it to the station that you want to uh, to tune into. Now, one thing that I really like about this particular Bluetooth FM transmitter compared to other ones that I've used is that this goes, um, it, the other ones go uh, by point twos, and this one goes by point one, so I can actually dial in to 107.6. Uh, the other one would skip point six and point two and point four and point eight. This one goes through all of them, so you have a full range of frequencies to choose from, which is really really nice. Now another thing that um, whenever I did my other Bluetooth FM transmitter videos is y'all like to hear the call quality. So there's this automated number that I can call. It just it's supposed to tell you the time and temperature. Let's give it a shot. I don't know if they're gonna pick up or not. They've been having some troubles, but I want y'all to at least y'all can hear like the the ringing and whatnot, so you can get a better idea of what that sounds like all right let's see what we have here I cranked it up too I don't know how loud it's gonna be <laughs> oh there it goes judging from that it sounds pretty good they're not picking up it does say CAL on the front here whenever uh, you're placing a call you know what I want to do? I'm going to try and hang up with this thing here by pressing it. Hey, it hung up. Awesome. So that is actually working the Bluetooth button there. Now, let's press it again and see if our music comes on. Hey, check that out. Nice. I like it. So, so far, so good. I'm really liking this thing. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments below. I want to do a follow-up video answering a lot of y'all's questions uh, if y'all need some further information about this thing. And I also want to make an update video using a USB thumb drive in this thing. Uh, one thing that I want to point out, too, that I'm not too crazy about is that the, the way my uh, thing is positioned here, it'd be really tough to get uh, my cord plugged in right here. Oops, sorry. So let me let me turn it like this. So it'd be really hard for me to get this USB cord uh, into these USB ports right here. I definitely have to probably turn it to the side like that and have it stick out this way. But uh, that's just one thing that I'm noticing right now that might be a little challenging if your uh, if your uh, power adapter is in kind of a, a concealed place like this. Now we also have. Uh, a Ford truck and in the truck it's like power outlet right on the side so if this thing's just gonna be sticking out like this and I think it'll be a lot easier to get the cords in I'll probably do a the follow-up video in the truck just so that we can have those different perspective and different angles so if you guys want to see any of that make sure to click that subscribe button if y'all want to watch some of the other Bluetooth FM transmitters and and uh, Bluetooth speakers uh, Bluetooth devices that I've used go and click that video right there you guys can go and check out some of those videos other Otherwise, I'll put some more other Bluetooth uh, videos right here on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watch more of our their, those videos. I think you guys might find them helpful. Thank you guys for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. And dad out. Oh, what do you use in the car? Remember to answer that question. Do you use a Bluetooth FM transmitter? Do you have an AUX cable? What do you use to listen to music? Or do you just use a radio?